And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the rinks in Hop Park, New York, where today the Stony Brook Sea Wolves take on the Lehigh Mountain Cats. Today's game uh, is being played at the rinks in Hop Park, Indiana. I think uh, Stony Brook, after last night's victory, uh, is coming in today pretty pumped up. Yep, I agree. I know the boys aren't as happy with the uh, score as they should have been last night. Um, we saw the two to one victory, but I know the boys were looking for you know a few more goals than what we saw last night. Uh, and I know they're pumped for their last home game today. The seniors are excited, and we're definitely looking at a win. Okay, uh, you know, talking to Coach Garofalo last night, I was pretty happy with the win. Um, know that at times it was a little nerve wracking uh, facing a, a, a very good goaltender, uh, actually who was their backup, who, who stopped 42 Stony Brook shots. That's phenomenal goal. And played a played an unbelievable game. Um, gave lots of the Stony Brook players fits last night as uh, sure goals that were going in were being stopped by uh, Birmingham. And on the on the on the same hand, although Housel didn't have as many shots, he made some pretty good saves himself. Yeah, I agree. Especially towards the end of the the end of the game last night, Housel just had to make save after save after save as um, Drexel just kept shooting and had a difficult time getting the puck out of the Stony Brook zone. All right, we'll take it down to the ice side now for the starting lineups. Ready. We'll be ready for the drop of the puck and the start of the game. Yeah, I just wanted to point out the uh, the starting first line has changed up a little bit for Stony Brook. Uh, they added Mike Smith in for defense instead of Peter Zarella, um, which is actually I, my um, in my mind a really good call for Stony Brook. Uh, Mike Smith had a great game last night. Played uh, awesome. Played awesome defense, and he had a few shots on goal. Um, definitely a good decision, and we'll see how that turns out. You know, Mike Smith stepping up and getting some real, real serious minutes as a freshman and coming in and doing the job last night. Had had some nice shots on goal, played, made some tremendous defensive plays, some big hits, and uh, he's probably earned that start today. Yep. All right, we're getting ready to start. Centering... Uh, will be Softy on the Lehigh side and uh, Elfont uh, for Stony Brook. And here we go. 
Well, official Gray drops the puck and Stony Brook gets the face off and comes into the Lehigh zone. This is Golden with a shot right on goal and a save by number nine. Already a, a stronger start than what we saw last night. Stony Brook has the puck right away and got that shot Absolutely. On, uh, on net. No, that's, that's right away. That's Langstaff uh, is wearing number nine, which is a strange number for a goaltender. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but he's a senior, and he's in net today for Lehigh. There's a pass back to Borner at the point, and Borner's shot is deflected. Lehigh breaks out, and uh, picked up by Elfont, breaks back into the zone. He's got Collins over to the right. Collins shoots, and a save by Langstaff. Sony with the puck behind the net. This is Golden with the puck, and Golden is looking, and he's down low to Collins. Collins backhands the puck on the doorstep. Oh, it's just, just hanging on the doorstep there. <laughs> and it could not go goal over the goal line. You can't stand to see that. <laughs> but uh, Stony Brook really needed to get a player in front of the net. Yes. Uh, just in case things like that happen, because we know they they do. Uh, so we're looking for a little more traffic in front of the net for Stony Brook. Um, just for those passing options, especially when you have the puck right on the red line like that. Exceptionally strong yep. shift. And that line is still out there. Coach Garrett. Uh, Garofolo realizing here that this line's got something going. He's leaving him out a little extra. Face off one back to Stony Brook. Elfound with the shot high and wide. And Smith steps in and winds up and shoots wide all the way around and out of the zone. Warner picks the puck up in center ice and is quickly bowled over there and taken back in by Elfond. Elfond comes in and he shoots. And it's a blocker save by Elfond. And that puck is uh, still. Now Lehigh breaks out with the puck. That's number 10, Lewis. And Lewis is breaking out. Lewis is the top scorer for Lehigh. And dumps in. On the, on the forecheck is Borner. And Lewis dumps, dumps Borner behind the net. And Smith got that puck. And, and he's being chased by number 11, DeVita. And now the puck is dumped back into the Stony Brook zone as Lehigh goes for a line change. Miscommunication on the pass there to Smith. And uh, puck picked up by number 13. Facey and a shot on goal and a save. This is back to the point. Shot by Smith. Hit into the corner. And this is Hawkins with the puck behind the net for Stony Brook. Over to Borner. Borner flips the puck out and hits the stanchion in the ceiling and there'll be a faceoff in the Stony Brook zone. Yeah, uh, the lines are finally switching up a little bit. It looked like a little miscommunication in front of the net. Um, in front of goaltender Josh Brand. Didn't really know what was going on. Um, again, I mentioned this last night. One of the key points in hockey is you need to be able to communicate and know where your players are at all time. And, you know, as we saw the little mix-up with Smith just there, you know, you really need to watch out for that, especially with a goaltender like Brand. On the face-off, Hawkins wins the face-off. And back to Arrow behind the net. And backhanded back in as Sonny possesses the puck. Now here comes Ryan through the neutral zone to Hawkins. Hawkins is being stood up at the blue line by Facey, and puck goes deep into the Lehigh zone now. This is Lehigh number four breaking out with the puck, Moreau, and his puck is deflected in the neutral zone. It's picked up here by Doreski. Doreski tries a backhand pass. It's taken away by Lehigh and dumped in. This is Di Lorenzo on the puck over to Arrow, just out of the reach of Arrow, and Doreski gets the puck out of the zone before he's dumped by Softy. Di Lorenzo back for Stony Brook and controlling the puck is Arrow up to Dureski on the breakout wide ring pass to Ryan Ryan breaking deep in the zone carrying that puck behind the net looking for options and loses control of the puck number 20 Eni picks it up for, for Lehigh Eni skating up and passes the puck out to center right Stony Brook recovers the puck this is Arella over to Hawkins punched in by Gullner oh by Jennings and lost to Softy by, and now picked up by Stony Brook, who dumps it back in. Mariello just dumps that puck right back in. Stony Brook on that four check. And stepping up here is Rafis, dumping the puck deep into the Lehigh zone. That's Jennings working hard behind the net. Pass over to Mariello. And Lehigh picks the puck up and dumps it up into the neutral zone. Peter Zarella after the puck. He's got Rafis back there with him. And a home one stretch pass to Mariello. Does Mariello go for a change? Or no, he stays on the ice. This is Hoffman with the puck. Stolen by Stony Brook Jennings. Cross ice pass to Brooks. Just missed on the deflection. And Lehigh breaks into the zone three on three. There's Lewis with a shot right on and ran with the save. Now I'd say uh, both teams are pretty evenly matched and both putting up a great fight. 
Um, Sunny Brook putting a little more pressure on the puck than what we've seen from Lehigh so far, but Lehigh is definitely not a team to back down. And you know, Sizable team, too. Good size. Yep. All right, this is uh, Mather on the, sa on the face off with Lewis. And face off won by Ma for Lehigh, and a quick shot right on goal there. Good save by Brand. Um, that was Lodato mm -hmm. picking that loose puck up right at the top of the circle and putting that right on net. Yeah. And they'll do it again. This is Mather and Lewis on the faceoff. Faceoff won by Stony Brook. That's Smith back to Borner. Borner up to the boards. And this is Mather picking up through neutral zone with speed coming in on left wing. Pass across. Smith picks the puck up at the point. Skates in and shoots in deep. Mather chases the puck along with Lewis. Is bumped off the puck by Lewis. And Lewis skates out. And a good defensive play there by Seward using his stick and stopping... Lewis from breaking out further. Uh, puck is wound around the boards. A goal. Oh, little miscommunication there. The puck was off. The, oh, and a shot by Smith goes in. And that is uh, Michael Smith's first goal of the season, and a nice goal just right in the right corner. Uh, you know, Lehigh's goal, he definitely wasn't ready for that, but a great play by. Um, Some, something happened there. I think uh, 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 the Langstaff came around with the puck, and he went to shoot it. It got blocked. Yeah. And it went in front of the net, and then it, it, it came shot out to Smith, who just put a low shot on ice with all those bodies in front. It found its way in. So, like I said, first goal for Michael Smith, and Stony Brook's on the board, 1-0, 15-37 in the first period. And like I said, that's Mike Smith's first goal this season, a well-deserved goal um, from the way he's been playing these last couple of games, and I believe the assist goes to Matt Markowski. Nice um, reward. Yeah, which is his first game back for a, a while now. All right, and this is Fitzpatrick going back with the puck. And he reverses to Goldner. And puck out to the point, kept in by Lehigh. And Lehigh, this is Fitzpatrick for Stony Brook with the puck. Up the boards as a giveaway. And Brand makes a save, and Fitzpatrick will try the other side. Over to Collins. Collins tries a quick out pass, but doesn't connect. This is Arrow with the puck now as Lehigh is beginning to put a stronger forecheck on now. And this is Stony Brook. This is Elfont breaking in with speed. Elfont, and he's checked off the puck by number 28, Smith. The Lehigh, puck goes back to the point. This is Fitzpatrick, shot! It just went wide. If that puck was on there, I think it'd be in. Mm -hmm. I think he, he might have beat the goalie on that shot. All right, this is Lehigh skating in now and dumps the puck in. This is Griffin on the forecheck for Lehigh. Golden with the puck. Cross ice pass stolen. Nice move here. Comes in two on one and a shot on goal. And Brand with the save. The turnover in the Stony Brook zone created that opportunity for Lehigh. Yeah, and he did a good job getting his pad on that, just blocking the, the puck at the left corner of the goal. Absolutely. Now this is this is Softy now. Softy shoots and Brand's gonna hold on and settle things down. Uh, uh, now that Lehigh's woken up after that first goal a little bit, we're gonna see a lot more coming from him, a lot more energy. And I think Michael Smith has a lot of fans in the audience uh, here. <laughs> so, as he from scores the uh, his announcer first goal. just said that was not Mike Smith's goal. It was the assist from Michael Smith. Oh. The goal actually went to Matt Markowski. Oh, Markowski got the tip. Okay. All right, so. And I believe that's also his uh, first goal for this season as well. All right. All right, Lehigh with the puck now. Deflected in on to Brand, and Brand makes the save. That goal was Markowski, number 23, from Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, now you can see here, uh, Lehigh's putting a lot more pressure on the puck, and uh, the defense really needs to watch out for that, and they really need to protect the goalie, Josh Brand. Oh, Lewis picks that puck up. It was a must have got hit, hit his stanchion in the board or something. It just did not get out where it was going to go there. And Zarella's pass went right on to Lewis's stick, and uh, Brand made that save. That puck goes off the side of Brand's stick on the side of the net, and he decides to hold on. Lehigh's uh, picking up the game a little bit here. I think they're putting a little bit more pressure on Stony Brook, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe realizing that an early goal in the game could uh, could create uh, you know more opportunities for Stony Brook. So I think they they, they know better. Uh, right? Yeah, I agree. They're picking their game up. Mm -hmm. All right. This is where uh, Hawkins on the faceoff, and he loses it to 
And this is Lehigh with the puck now. And Lehigh working the puck. Down in the corner. Stony Brook defending well. Out to the point. Shot from the point. Good positioning there by our defense. They have Warner not allowing that clean shot to get off. And this is Hawkins with the puck. And he's got two four checkers on him. And that puck goes over to Arrow. And, oh, oh sorry, to Borner. And Smith's got it over to Borner. And Borner cross up by pass to Ryan. Ryan's got an opening man. He's got Hawkins. He shoots. <laughs> and Langstaff slides across and makes the save. Yeah, that was a good save by Langstaff. But that was a great uh, play by him. Um Chris Ryan. I like the patience in that play. I agree. You, you know, know last Chris night Ryan, we didn't see that, right? No, not at all. Last night it was kind of just like a shoot and hopefully the puck would get in the net. But now, uh, you know, Chris Ryan slowed the puck down and just passed it. And, you know, they had a great shot. Mario on the face off here. Jenny's got it. Oh, shot right on. <clears throat> had that puck hanging on his stick and he just shot it right on goal. And uh, Langstaff made a nice save there. Yeah, and this is the kind of hockey we were looking for last night, you know. Shots. Yeah, shots, and they also need to be able to set up. That way, you know, you know where your players are, the more chances you're going to have to get a shot on goal. Yeah, and now Lehigh just iced the puck. The, uh, I guess on the faceoff there. Try to get the puck out of the zone, maybe get a line change, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately went all the way down, so. This will be Mariello on the faceoff. Against number seven, Softy, and uh, 12.53 to go in the first period. Stony Brook up 1 0. And on the faceoff, Jennings gets it back to Rafis. Rafis down in the corner there to Brooks. Brooks down to Mariello. And across, it looks like a power play. Yeah, it does. And uh, <laughs> Rafis has the puck. He had to go out of the zone to get everybody back on side. And, and Lehigh is picking the puck up in a neutral zone and turned over again. And Jennings is. Uh, Back to Zarella, back up to Jennings, and Jennings carrying in now, and he's got Brooks wide. Brooks shoots, and he just missed the net wide on the short side. This is Zarella with the puck. Zarella shoots it down in the corner, and Mariello down low. Cross ice pass to Jennings. He scores on a on a beautiful pass and a tip. And Jennings. Jennings just did a great job. He slid the puck in the bottom right of the net, right through the, the goalie, and 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 all he really did was just put his. The, the, the tongue of his stick on the ice, that, that pass hit it, and it just deflected in. And that's the way you score a goal. That's yeah. A goal scores goal. And that was a great play. And this is definitely what we were looking for last night. And I'm glad to see that we're playing, you know, a good game of hockey tonight. Uh, now I'm expecting Lehigh to, uh, you know, make their game a little stronger now. And uh, tighter on the defense. They're going to have to do that because uh, Stony Brook's on their game today. Yeah. Stony Brook is making their cashing in. All right. This is Mather now, and that puck deflects out of, off the stick of Frey, number 19th at Lehigh, and their faceoff will be back at center ice. This is Lewis on the faceoff with Mather. And faceoff won by Stony Brook, and into the Stony Brook zone, but Lehigh picks the puck up, and oh, a nice poke check there by Rafis. All right, pass out, kept back in by Stony Brook. And this is Seward now with the puck. It's skating out. And he'll, he'll shoot it into the corner. And Rafis pinches in. And the puck is in the corner. This is around by three. Markowitz picks the puck up now. Looks around. And the puck is shot out. This is going to be another icing call on Lehigh. If Mather can get there before Lewis. And he does. Uh, also, I just want to point out that the last goal was actually not from Jennings. It was Jennings' assist from Josh Brooks was, with, uh, was the final announcement on that. Okay, just Josh Brooks got the goal then. Looked like Jennings got it. I agree with you, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It depends on the vantage point, but I guess the referees make the call down on the ice. Yep. But that was a great pass regardless and a great goal. All right, Mather on the faceoff. One back by Stony Brook to Arrow. Arrow shoots to the net. Oh, and... I think they're seeing something here with with um, Langstaff, and they're just putting shots on the net now. Yeah. I think I think Jason Arrow had opportunities to go another way and put the puck on the net, and you know what? Yeah, and Sonny Brook also had a lot of traffic in front of the net. Good rebound opportunities. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Mather back on the faceoff again with Facey from Lehigh, and the faceoff is won by Lehigh. 
That's number eight hopping with the puck behind the net to, Il to Ellis. And Ellis banks it off the boards, but through the neutral zone. Picked up by number 13, Facey, and shoots in. Brand controls the puck over to Arrow, who's pummeled by Facey. And gave him the business, as they say. Puck is shot in by Seward as Thunderbird goes for a line change. And this is Arrow coming in now and throwing his body. And the puck is back to Collins, covering up for Arrow there on defense. Arrow up the boards to Golo. And Elfont with a pass out, picked up again by Elfont. Now this is Collins shooting. And another save by Langstaff. And that was a great shot by Collins, uh, although it was straight into Lancaster's uh, pads. Uh, that's the kind of shots we're looking to take tonight, you know, just right direct. And it went through right, um, right through Lehigh's defense. Um, but a lot more energy coming from the uh, Stony Brook tonight than what we saw last night. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, you, you can sense it. They're just, they, they're determined. Yeah. All right, on the faceoff here, one by, one by Lehigh, but Stony Brook picks it off. Elfont battling hard, winning that puck. This is Collins in the corner. And up to the point to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick winds and shoots right on. And another save by Langstaff. You know, it's already nine shots on goal from Stony Brook, but um, Lehigh's right behind them with eight shots on goal. Big difference from last night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the boys are playing a lot smarter than they did last night, setting up, making better passes, smarter decisions, and they're not just, you know, swinging the puck at the net. Absolutely. Here's a face-off, Elfont against... Lewis and the faceoff was won by Lewis and the puck is kicked out. It's a two on one now. This is Lewis coming in. He shoots and a save by Brand. He was going top shelf and Brand got a glove on it. All right. And this is Golden now coming out with the puck with Elfon and Collins. And uh, he's controlling the puck and that puck is turned over. As this is uh, Woodward shooting in now and Brand will control it behind the net. And Borna goes back to get it with Facey on there forechecking. All right, pass of Golner over to Elfont. Elfont skating in. He's got Ryan break into the net. A nice little move around the D there. Here's a shot by Borner. Kick set. Pick head save there. A lot of opportunities were just passed up in front of the net, but it was great that they got the puck on goal. Sure. Langstead made a nice, nice pad save there. Yep. And uh, deflected that rebound out far enough that it, the Stony Brook player could not get it. Now, this is the rescue skating. Through the neutral zone, over over to Hawkins with a nice pass, a shot on goal, and a save by Flagstaff. And Hawkins chasing after the puck again, and wins that battle. And he tries to get that puck deep again. Now shot out by Lehigh, and this is Corby shooting the puck. And it seems like they're sh changing shifts, changing lines every time they can get the puck out of the zone. All right, Lehigh controlling the puck, loses it in the neutral zone, and this is Rafis for Stony Brook. Ragging the puck back and out to the neutral zone. Number 20 for Lehigh controls the puck. Any over to Ellis. Ellis dumps in and Rafis picks it up for Stony Brook. He's surrounded by, surrounded by two Lehigh players. And this is Zarella now over to Rafis. Rafis back to Zarella, trying to beat that four check. Back over. Good smart puck movement here by Stony Brook. Yeah. Patience, trying to get that good clean breakout. You know, uh, having a two nothing lead, you you can tend to be a little bit more patient. And yeah, I there's think, no rushing. Yeah. Uh, this is Lehigh and stopped in a neutral zone there, but a good play by Rafis. Back pass over to Ryan. Back over to Hawkins, and now Rafis will dump it in and picked up by Lehigh. This is Griffin carrying the puck and dumps in as Lehigh goes for another change. They are changing very quickly. They are. And trying to stay as fresh as they can. And, that, and that's what's going to help them put the pressure on Stony Brook with their forecheck. Especially when uh, Stony Brook's line stay out a lot longer than uh, most teams keep their players out. Yeah. And Arrow took it, took it all the way to the net and uh, saved by the goalie. And Lehigh is breaking out. This is Lewis coming through the center ice zone, being harassed by three or four Stony Brook players. And he took himself offside. You know, a little sloppy there, but... You know, Stony Brook's doing a good job of keeping the pressure on the puck, taking shots, playing smart hockey. And, uh, you know, as you said, Lehigh is making a lot of changes. You know, they just changed again. Um, and that's really what they're going to have to do with, to keep up with Stony Brook's speed. And, you know, 
like I said, these two teams met uh, in late October, and uh, Stony Brook was victorious, you know, by a one-goal game. Um, so they're familiar with their speed. So they know that what they're going to need to do to match up. And again, I said this last <coughs> night, uh, you know, it's good that the lines changed a little bit from what we're used to seeing from Stony Brook just because, you know, there was a lot of man marks last night during uh, Drexel. Yep. All right, this is Mariello in the corner. Battling with Innie. And the puck comes out to Facey. Facey loses it to Brooks. And Brooks takes a high hit from uh, Moreau. <coughs> Brooks comes back with a little bit of an elbow there. This is DiLorenzo for Stony Brook, shooting it in deep. Mariello back there to get it for Stony Brook. And around the boards, back to DiLorenzo. And to DiLorenzo to Arrow. Arrow just shoots it into an open corner. Mariello chasing after it. Brooks is after it, too. And now back out to the point to DiLorenzo, who shoots it back in, where Jennings will pick it up for Stony Brook. And Jennings controlling up to Arrow. Arrow across to DiLorenzo, who just could not get it on the stick to tee it up. And back to Mariello. And now Drex, uh, Lehigh, sorry, Lehigh's picking up the puck here in the corner and just dumping it out through the neutral zone. They're going for another line change. I'm sensing they're, they may already be a little fatigued here. Yes. And that pass is going to nobody and will be an icing against Stony Brook. So with six minutes and 10 seconds left to go, with the score two for Stony Brook and zero for Lehigh, thank you for joining us today and watching Seawolves Hockey Live. I'm joined, I'm Andy Mignani, I'm here with Deanna Sisti, and uh, we're enjoying this one here. Face-off in the Stony Brook zone, Mariello against Softy for Lehigh. Face-off won by, by Lehigh, but punched out by Mariello. Good job, so they can go for a change. This is number 19, Frey, carrying the puck in. And that puck was lost and battling along the boards now. Um, the squirts loose is Fitzpatrick to Markowitz. Markowitz skating in with the puck. And he shoots on goal and a stick to side by Langstaff. And uh, Fitzpatrick in there a little deep today. <laughs> Playing a little forward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And Markowitz tries to keep that puck in. It squirts out. Markowski. So I keep saying Markowitz because I know a, a gentleman who played hockey. His name was Markowitz. So that, that, that uh, sometimes happens. So Markowski with the puck now in the corner. And he's got Mather. Mather's got Seward in front. And that puck is good play by, by Lewis for Lehigh. Knocking it wide. And this is Fitzpatrick from the point. Puts it on. Pad save by Langstaff. Back to the point to Smith. And Smith down low to Mather. And I, and I like the passing. I like the, the looks. Now Smith winds and shoots. And it's deflected high and into the corner. Seward has the opportunity to get to it. And he's knocked off the puck. A little bit of a delay there. No one really seemed to know where the puck was going. Yeah. Kind of bounced up in the air. All right. This is Seward breaking in for Stony Brook. And he's knocked off the puck there by Lewis. He's playing a very strong first period. Look at this. An opportunity there for, for a headman pass. And uh, unfortunately, was off the tape of DeVita's stick. Uh, it was a nice look by Lewis. Just missing DeVita on that stretch pass. That was a good idea by Seward to... Uh, Port Stony Brook kind of napping there on D a little bit. Yep. All right, Elfon with the puck to Collins. Kicked it to the corner. This is Lewis picking it up for Lehigh and skating up the boards now. Elfon, uh, this is actually, that's Golder on him and doing a good job staying with him, matching him stride for stride. Uh, Rafis now with the puck, skating up through the neutral zone. And Rafis gets it into the Lehigh zone and still controlling the puck. This is Collins out to Elfon. Quick pass and a... Good defensive play there by number 24, Woodward, being in the right place. Yeah, so, and Lehigh's definitely picking up their defensive line. Uh, this is Arella with the puck now, and Rafis will pass it across to Collins. Collins coming in. He's got Elfont wide, but the play is whistled down for an offsides. 3.41 left to go in the first period. A stronger first period than what we saw from the Drexel game yesterday. It's like a completely different team is playing. Um, but they're playing smart hockey, good hockey tonight, getting the puck in the net, ready, you know, up 2-0 two, two with 14 shots on goal. Doing a good job today. All right, puck is shot into the Lehigh zone, and Lehigh controls it and tips it out past DiLorenzo, and this is uh, Arrow shooting the puck out past Softy, who was putting on a vicious forecheck there against DiLorenzo. Now this is Collins with a nice shifty move to Elfont. 
Elfon to Golo, shot on goal and nice save. Did it go in? Yes, it went in. It yeah. actually went off the goaltender's pad and into the net. The referee is calling it a goal. I'm not quite sure where the puck was at, but it obviously speaks over the goal line. Um, it brings a Stony Brook up 3 0. I believe that was Josh Golner's goal from the assist from Brian Alfont. And a fantastic tic tac toe play. Three passes and a goal. Yeah, perfect. Perfect amount of traffic in front of the net. Uh, and he just slid that puck right in there and just went right through the goalie. And I think Langstad is, uh, Langstad is trying to get the captain's attention to let them know that the puck didn't go in, but the referee clearly saw the puck in the back of the net before it was shot back out. Again, they're discussing the goal right now. It looks like um, <clears throat> it doesn't look like they're going to change anything. The play is currently under review. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the mental cameras that are going on uh, right now. <laughs> no, we could actually figure this out. But yeah. <laughs> we could actually go back and look at the tape, but um, we won't do that because... <laughs> yeah, that's, Sonny that's Brooks' favorite, you know. <laughs> we're going to argue. They're waving it off now, it looks like. Looks like they're waving it off. All right. Apparently, uh, yeah, I, 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 I honestly thought I saw the goaltender make the save and land on his pad. And he trapped it down. Yeah, see, um, but something you need to know about hockey is if that puck is underneath the goal plunder's pads and that pad is in the net, in the net it's, it's going to count as a goal. But, um, you know, no one really, I couldn't really see where the puck was, so he I don't had know. It, he had it trapped under his, on top of his pad under his glove. Oh, and okay. when they blew the whistle, that's when it trickled into the net. Mm -hmm. So that's what I saw from here. But I don't know if I can trust my eyes neither. <laughs> From long distances, I can see very well. <laughs> it's the short ones I have a problem with. All right. Face off in the Lehigh zone. Three minutes and 15 to go in the first. Stony Brook up 2 nothing. Shots on goal right now at 15 for Stony Brook and 9 for Lehigh. Lehigh hasn't had a shot on goal in quite some time. Yeah. Uh, Stony Brook's up 15 to 9 on shots and goal. Here comes... Hawkins on the faceoff with Lewis back to Arrow. Arrow shoots and it's blocked by Lewis who skates in and loses the loses possession of the puck. And now he's going to be defended by DiLorenzo. Does a good job running him off the running him off the puck. And this puck is picked up by Stony Brook now. And out comes Hawkins. It's a two-on-one with Ryan. And Hawkins over to Ryan. The puck is deflected. Nice defensive play there by number 19, Fry, who got a stick down in the passing lane. And Lehigh picks the puck back up. This is Lodato dumping it in and going for a change. And Arrow picks up for Stony Brook. Pass out to Dureski. And turned over in the neutral zone. Picked up by number 13, Facey. Coming in, winds, he shoots. And it's blocked by Borner. And now this is Dureski skating in one on two. And circling back, looking for help. And just dumps it deep where Ryan is there. To Stony Brook and over to Hawkins who shoots. <laughs> Hit the outside of the net and Ryan in front with a tap in and just right on goal and a save and by Langstaff. A very good play by uh, Wesley Hawkins and Chris Ryan. Chris Ryan had great placement in front of the net. Um, unfortunately, Lancaster is right there and uh, was able to block the puck, but you know, that's kind of what we're looking for. You need to have a good placement, you know, and be able to know where your players are at all times, get the puck there. All right, Mariello on the faceoff. With Jennings and Brooks and Borner and Smith on D against Softy for, Le for Lehigh. And the faceoffs won back by Softy. And Lehigh dumps it around. And right there is Michael Smith. Dump it right back in for Stony Brook. And this is Mariello on the puck. Stony Brook trying to cycle down low. And Jennings has the puck and takes a bump. And back to Smith and winds. He shoots and deflects it out. And Lehigh kind of tries to control it. It's kept in the Stony Brook zone. There's Brooks on the puck for Stony Brook, being harassed from behind by Lewis, by by Softy, who stumbles and gets the puck out of the zone. Great little play there to get out. Now here this is Lehigh coming in, and a shot right on, and Josh Brand with the save. And I think we got the net off the moorings. A little bit. A lot going on in that last play. Uh, Stony Brook did a good job of keeping the uh, puck in their zone. A uh, little messy, a lot of scrambling going on. Uh, Lehigh did a great job of clearing it and getting the puck down into Stony Brook's zone. Um, definitely getting a little more aggressive. Uh, we see a lot more hits coming from Lehigh um, as they were probably frustrated with the 2-0 two, uh, two start over you know, with Stony Brook. All right, the face-off there was... Uh 
Mariello against Softy. It's won by Stony Brook, but uh, again, another good forecheck by Lehigh. Fighting hard to keep that puck to that Stony Brook net, and Stony Brook doing a great job not letting it happen. That's Borner in the corner down there. Jennings now down low over to Borner. Borner back over to Smith, and Smith headman pass out to Jennings and taps in, but it's going to be an icing. All right. You know, uh, Stony Brook's hustling a lot today. Uh, we're seeing a lot, a lot of energy coming from them and getting back and forth and like good passes, good decisions. Today, I think it's all about the two points. It really is, and I think that they're coming out and playing that way. Yeah. It'd just be interesting to see if Stony Brook can keep this pace up after playing a really tough game last night, winning it, but still a very tough game mm -hmm. against Drexel. All right, if on the faceoff. Lehigh picks up the puck, and now it's back into the corner of Stony Brook. That's Borner over to Smith. And Smith break out pass to, J to Mariello, who's breaking in with Brooks. And Mariello loses possession, but Brooks picks it up behind the net and is checked off the puck by Lodato. And two on one down there. Brooks is battling hard, trying to win that puck, and he's doing a good job. Coming around, is picking that puck up as Mather. Mather's doing a circle in the corner, and he back up to the point. And down deep in the corner, Stony Brook is doing a good job with that forecheck, keeping that puck down in the Lehigh zone. And that's Mather. And that puck is out of the zone. Smith tried to make that play, grabbed that puck with his hand, dropped it down. I think that thing stings a little bit. Mm -hmm, yeah. Not much padding inside that regular hand of the glove. So, but he, Yeah, definitely not a comfortable feeling. Yeah. <laughs> He uh, was standing outside the blue line, if he realized it or not, but he, he tried to keep it in. It was a nice try. All right, here we got Elfont against Facey on the faceoff. And the faceoff's won back by Lehigh. And that's Ellis over to Moreau. Moreau to Facey. Facey breaking in on Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick made a nice stick check. He looked beat on the play, but he, he made a great play coming back. Now this is Collins breaking in. He winds and shoots. Saved by Langstaff. And breaking out is Facey now and just dumping the puck in. And they're waving, waving the icing off there because Warner probably could have played it. And that's the end of the first period with the score. Stony Brook 2. The Lehigh Mountain Wild Mountain Cats. Mountain Cats. Mount Mountain. Mountain Hawks. Mountain Hawks. <laughs> Mountain something. <laughs> but it, two nothing Stony Brook. Um, shots on goal in that period. 18 for Stony Brook. 10 for Lehigh. You're watching Seawolves Hockey Live. We'll be back. Welcome back to Stony Brook Hockey Live. Uh, Stony Brook's facing the Lehigh Mountain uh, uh, Mountain Hawks tonight. <laughs> Stony Brook's leading two nothing in the first, and we're just about to get the second period started. Uh, Stony Brook's coming out with a lot of energy tonight, a lot more than what we saw last night against Drexel. Um, uh, yeah, interesting game so far. Uh, the two shots on goal, 18 to 10, in uh, Stony Brook's favor. Um, but as we saw last night, it's not about the shots on goal. It's about how many uh, goals you actually get. Um, we're looking for a lot more energy coming from Lehigh tonight. And uh, we'll see how this game turns out. Um, we're just about to get this space off started. And, uh, and we're back. And we're back. Period two. And uh, this period... We'd like to say is sponsored by ADP, the business behind business. Well, as we start the second period, 
We're looking at Stony Brook 2 and Lehigh nothing. Shots on goal in that first period. Stony Brook was 18 and Lehigh was 10. All right, faceoff, Elfon against Softy. And the faceoff's won by Lehigh. Off the boards and into the Stony Brook zone. That's chased by Smith and that's Softy on the puck and that Gola picks it up, and looses it. Oh. And it's loose in the crease. And it looks like the net is off its moorings already. Yeah. Uh, Goal Thunder Josh Brand tried to pull it on a little bit, and then the uh, ref blew his whistle. Got looks a little crazy in front of the net. Looks like Stony Brook got away with a trip there, too. Yep. Uh, I think the referee was maybe not in the right position to see that, but uh, that was definitely a trip as uh, <laughs> Softy was going to the net with the puck. All righty, this is Elfont on the faceoff again. Softy for Lehigh. And out there for Lehigh is also number 29, Griffin. Looks like yep. uh, Mike Smith is having a little, some words with the ref. Yeah, maybe. We got a little delay. There's something going on on that backboard there. Mm -hmm. I think maybe something fell out of the, uh, one of the referees actually went to go get something. Take the squeegee and get rid of some of that water. I guess there's a lot of water behind the net there. Maybe that's, that could have caused the uh, the tripping. Yeah. The puck sticking to the ice. All right, well, we got a short little break here. Let's talk a little bit about Stony Brook's bid to build a rink at the uh, facility in the school. All right. Um well, if you have some time, go into stonybrookhockey.com. Right underneath us, there is a link to sign a petition to get Stony Brook to be an NCAA program. And uh, just sign up. And, uh, you know, it's a big thing to be part of the NCAA program. And it, it means a lot to the boys and the, you know, and the coaching staff and everything. And it would uh, really help us out. So just go ahead and sign up. All right. We're getting ready to drop the puck. And this will be Elfon again, again, softy on the faceoff uh, for Lehigh. Elfon for Stony Brook. And and the puck is dropped and won by Stony Brook. That's brought it back to Smith. Smith's cross size pass is too, too long for Golner. And back into the Stony Brook zone. And Josh Brand leaves it back there for Stony Brook. That pass comes out in front. And Lehigh is putting on a little bit of a strong forecheck here, coming in deep. You got three guys deep below the hash marks, giving Stony Brook a little problem getting that puck out. And still controlling the puck as Borna tries to get, get control of it. That's Eni with the puck now. Eni with the puck looking for, looking for someone to pass it to. He passes it across, and the shot is into the netting by number 25, Setch. Um, they're after a slower start than they uh, were in the first period, but both teams are still, you know, well, Stony Brook's having difficulty getting it out of their zone, uh, and Lehigh's defense and offense are coming out a lot stronger than what we originally saw, you know, which is something Stony Brook really needs to watch out for. You know, a 2 nothing lead isn't really a big lead. <laughs> so. Face off. One by, one by Lehigh. Lewis came in out of nowhere from the back and took that shot, and it went wide. He really had a great opportunity there. And this is DiLorenzo battling in the corner there, and Lewis picks the puck up behind the net. Jason Arrow with a nice defensive play there. Seawood tries to get the puck out. Cannot get, a puck, cannot get the puck out. Puck is chipped over. And you see a lot of scrambling going on right now. This is Seawood for Stony Brook. Trying to control the puck, and he's got it to Murkowski. Murkowski. And Murkowski, uh, Mother tips it in, and the puck. We finally got some ice being chewed up in the Lehigh end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all you can really see is the goal crease being chewed up at this point. But now Stony Brook uh, begins their forecheck, and Lehigh controls the puck and looking for a breakout. As the headman pass up to Lewis, coming through the neutral zone and getting around Arrow. This is DiLorenzo now defending. And Lewis with the puck trying to control. He's got a man wide open on the side, and that was a great play by Arrow, taking away that backdoor pass. Opportunity, I should say. 
on the, on the pass across the crease. Arrow back out to the neutral zone. Tip back in by Ryan, right on goal. Uh, we're not seeing what we want to see from Stony Brook. They're not setting up. It's sloppy like what we saw last night, and it's really uh, not the way to play. Yeah, I, I, I was kind of asking that question early in, in that period yesterday before if Stony Brook could keep up that momentum. And uh, so far, uh, they're having a tough time doing it because of the forechecking of Lehigh. Yeah. All right, pucked up into the Stony Brook zone. This is Rafis going after the puck. And again, taken away on a blind backhand pass that went to nobody but a Lehigh player, and Brand makes a nice glove save. Right off, right, right off of number 20, Eni coming in on that turnover. Mm -hmm. You know, Stony Brook really needs to watch out for this forecheck because they're putting a lot of pressure on Josh Brand, and the defense really needs to step up. Um, shots on goal, 18 to 12. Um, Close in the gap. 12. Yep. All right, this is Walken, Hawkins on the, on the draw for Stony Brook and against Softy, and that's one by Stony Brook. Out to the point, kept in by Lehigh. Now Stony Brook gets the puck out to the neutral zone, and it's dumped right back in by Lehigh. This is Rafis out to Ryan. Ryan to Hawkins. Hawkins skating in now on a two-on-two. -two. Cutting wide, breaking to the net. Cross-size pass. Just missed by Dureski. This is Hawkins with the puck again. Shoots, and it goes wide. Rafis at the point. Shoots the puck down low into the corner. Goes all the way around. And it'll be picked up by number 20, Eni, who will then... Yep, a lot of opportunities from Stony Brook. They really need to slow the puck down and set up and uh, you know get their act together. Yep. That's Griffin now with a pass to Eni. Eni shoots and it's blocked. This is Griffin again with the puck. Ball in the half boards, making a move and turning. Being defended against by Hawkins. And now Zarella controls the puck for Stony Brook. And across to Ryan. Ryan skates in wide. And he's got three on three coming in. This is Hawkins back. And his pass is deflected high into the corner. Dureski in the corner. Hawkins in the corner. Along with Hoffman and Lodato for Lehigh. This is Lodato with the puck skating out now. And pass across is turned over in the neutral zone. Rafis with the puck. And it's over to Ryan. Picked up by Rafis. Makes a nice move around Lodato. Skates in and shoots high and wide. Missing the net. Puck coming all the way out to the neutral zone. Recovered by Smith for Stony Brook. And Smith just missed Jennings on a pass. And in the neutral zone. Now this is Stony Brook. Almost caught with too many men on the ice. As Smith recovers and behind the net for Stony Brook as Lehigh goes for a change. This is a pass to Brooks. Brooks skating through center ice with speed. Brooks coming in, and Brooks turning around. Back to the point to Borner. Cross ice pass to Smith. Smith wrist shot. Pad save by Langstaff. I think that was Langstaff's first save of the period. Yep. All right, there's a cross ice pass here for Lehigh now. This is a break in for number 13. A shot, save, and a rebound is a goal. <coughs> On the backhand follow-up rebound by number four, Moreau, following up the shot and the save by Josh Brand. Um, so this is just leading to problems right now. Uh, there's no defense in front of the net to help out Josh Brand. And, um, you know, Josh Brand is the type of goalie that's going to beat himself up about this shot. And, you know, as a goalie, you really, really can't do that because that's just going to, you know, fluster you and... Uh, the defense really needs to step up their game and help them out, or at least score another goal to boost the confidence up a little bit more. But you know, you, you know what they say about the second period when you have that longer change. Oh yeah. You have to be cognizant of that and get off the ice when you're really at a point where you're almost tired. You need to get off because at that point, by the time you stay on another 10, 15 seconds, you're tired. Exactly. And then you can't get off. And as was seen there, the back checking did not happen on that play. And the rebound was caught, was scored by someone who was not picked up by a forward back check. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, back to Arrow now. All right, Stony Brook seems to be picking up their skating a little bit here. <coughs> this is uh, Arrow back with the puck. Loses control. Puck bouncing off a stick. Hits it right out. It's a pad save by Brand. Looks like that puck is not uh, sitting well for Stony Brook right now. They're yeah, moving Lehigh's, their feet a little faster. Lehigh is putting a lot of pressure on the puck. Um, you know, and Stony Brook's having a hard time keeping up with them and getting the puck cleared out of their zone. Yeah, this is Elfont now to, to Collins. And Collins getting in wide. He has his man beat, but he had to go through the referee. 
Unfortunately, the referee did not move his feet. No, not enough. And, uh, okay, now the puck in the corner to Elfont. Elfont controls the puck. He's covered by two, two Lehigh players. To Collins in front, and a shot, and a great glove save. Collins was absolutely robbed. Yeah, you guys. Uh, as for Lehigh, that was a great save. Um, got his glove on it just in time. Langstaff, I think he read the play. Two, two men in the corner for, for Lehigh left. Collins open in front for that one-timer. Yeah. And Collins did get all of it on there. It just landed in the glove of Langstaff. Yeah, but Stony Brook had the right idea. Well, uh, Sean Collins had the right idea of getting the puck to the net. Um, and taking those chances, you really need to take those shots. Um, but they need to be a little more controlled than just shooting and hoping the puck's going to get in. Very true. Face-off won by Lehigh. Markowski was just buried by Lewis uh, from the side. Not really a hit from behind, but still a hit nonetheless that uh, made a mark. All right. This is Arrow back to, the, to get the puck off the back of the net. And the puck was turned over here. And Stony Brook's trying to get control of it, and they do. This is Mather skating out with it now. Skating wide, dumping it in and going after the puck. And working that fortune down low. Controlling the puck is Mather doing a good job. Trying to hold on to it. And that puck is shot out by Lehigh. No. Little roughing in front of the net. Looks like a... Lehigh players are pushing around some of Stony Brook's guys. Yeah, a little frustration there, but Lehigh's just letting Stony Brook know they didn't drive all the way out here to lose. So yeah. they're going to come and they're going to play their game. It's like some words between Markowski and DeVita. Now Peter Zarella is talking to the referee about the puck going out of the arena. Yep. Um, it did hit the netting, but it did go out of the arena and it was shot out to uh, without anybody deflecting it, so... All right, this is Hawkins on the face-off against Facey. And Hawkins wins a shot uh, right on goal for the face-off and a save by Langstaff. And Stony Brook keeps that puck in. This is Lehigh controlling the puck behind the net. And this is going all the way down. This is not going to be an icing because the Lehigh player beat the Stony Brook player to the net. Hawkins picks the puck up now. It's a possible three on two. This is Ryan skating wide. Ryan winds, he shoots. Save made, rebound just missed by Dureski as it just scooted past him in the air. That was a great play by Chris Ryan. Unfortunately, Dureski yeah. couldn't get a, uh, his stick on it. Now Lehigh shoots the puck in and goes for a change. A bad bounce off the boards, but Stony Brook's able to recover here. And just missing on that deflection in will be an icing against Stony Brook. Bad break on that, on that play there. Mm-hmm as uh, Stony Brook probably would have liked to go in for an line change. Yeah. And they're going to have to go through another. Yeah, and I said this last night, you know, the shifts on Stony Brook are just, you know, completely weird, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Yeah, well, coaches kind of leave it up to the players. They know when they want them off the ice, and they, they, they have to be disciplined to know that. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, it, then again, it's... It's, it's the players always wanting to do more, you know, and yeah. unfortunately... It yeah, it comes it down to discipline as well. Yeah, definitely does. Uh, and that high stick was waved off because Stony Brook touched the puck. Puck's deflected in behind the net to Zarella, made a nice defensive play there. Yeah. And Hawkins will have an opportunity now to carry out as he scoots past number 14 from Lehigh, and the puck to, goes to the Rusky, cross to Ryan. Ryan shoots, and a save by Langstaff. Now Chris Ryan always has a great angle on the goal. I mean... Uh, unfortunately, that was placed right into the goalie's pads, but Chris Ryan always knows where to be and when to be there. And, you know, uh, as a senior, you know, we were talking about it before. It's going to be a big loss um, when Chris graduates, but, you know, yeah, you got to move on. All right, this is Mariello on the faceoff for Stony Brook against Lewis. And one back by Stony Brook, a shot for the point, off the post. Smith hit the post. Langstaff did not even see the shot. He heard the sound, and that's when he knew it hit the post. And because the Stony Brook player took the shot, and it hit the post, and it went out of play, the faceoff comes outside. All right. 11.53 to go in the second period. Stony Brook 2, Lehigh 1. Mariello on the faceoff with Lewis. And Lewis wins the faceoff. 
And that's DeVita with the puck, controlling it on the half board, uh, on the center ice area. And Lewis picks the puck up, spins and moves and dumps in, and it's blocked by Stony Brook at the blue line. Good play by Borner there. And over to Smith. Now Smith heads up, and his pass is blocked by Lewis. Lewis seems to be all over the ice the second period. Yeah. Calling his name constantly. Um, dump behind the net for Lehigh. And again, out of play. And that puck will be dropped for a faceoff in the Lehigh zone to the right of Langstaff. Uh, Lehigh is a lot more aggressive than they were in the first period, and they, Stony Brook really needs to watch out for that. You yeah. Know, especially now that it's two to one. Sometimes it takes the team a period to get their legs going. Yeah. You know they did, they, they they drove here today, so all right, one by by Stony Brook actually, and controlled by Stony Brook. And now a shot on goal, and Langstaff picks it up and makes a save on a, on a high shot by Mariello. And both teams go for a line change. <laughs> Stony Brook really needs to start communicating. Um, you know, each player has their own job, and it just seems that, you know, not all of them are getting together and communicating, like, to know what they have to do out there. All right, this is Elfon on the faceoff against Facey. And and the puck's dropped, and Stony Brook wins the faceoff. And the puck's down to Elfon on the half boards. And battling against Facey there, pucks out to the point to Smith. Smith has the puck, throws it into the corner. Collins picks it up behind the net, over to Elfon. Elfon back up to Smith. Smith's going to shoot the puck. He winds, he shoots. Deflection in front, the puck is loose. Rebound. Golda with a rebound, a backhand shot right into the goaltender. There's a little scrum, scrum in front of the net there. Yeah, Lehigh was not happy about it. It looks like Golda lost his footing in front of the net and just tripped over the goalie, and Lehigh's uh, defensemen are right on top of him. And the, Lehigh's changing lines. They've got... Uh, looks like they're, they're rotating only two centermen through their lines. Um... Facey, number 13, and uh, number 7, uh, Softy. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and we got penalties on that play. Number 8 for Stony Brook Golner, and number 16 for Lehigh Talgo. Two minutes each, probably for roughing. Yeah, that's what it looked like in front of the net. You know, you just 10 saw 55. that. 10:55, and we haven't even had a. No team has had a power play at this point, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's not. We're not used to seeing that, especially with Stony Brook. So, let's see how it goes. All right, uh, puck is faceoff is won by Lehigh, and skating out with it is Any, and Any loses it, and this is Horner now with the puck over to Smith. And Smith looks up, and he's fine. Elfon. Elfon tips the puck in and skates after it. And that puck is shot out, but kept in by Borner. Good play by Borner. Borner skates in. He shoots. Deflection. Loose in front. Back to Borner. Borner with the puck now. Down in the corner. Over to Elfon, whose fans on the pass. Smith's going to step up and make a great play to keep that puck in. Does he keep it in? Oh, yes, they keep it in. This is Elfon skating in. He shoots. Rebound. He skates in. He scores. That was a beautiful goal by Brian Elfon. Deep that player right away. Scored right around the goalie. Beautiful goal. Beautiful play. Well-deserved goal for Brian Elfon. Uh, great job from the defense keeping the puck in their zone. Unbelievable. That was a tremendous team effort on that goal. From one player to the other. Leap diving and keeping the puck in. It all started with, with Borner skating in and, and, and saving that puck from going out and then diving and keeping that puck in and Elfon picking it up and making that one move, beating oh, the defenseman. That one deeker on the defenseman yeah, was phenomenal. Defense, all in all, a great play. Great team goal. All right, Stony Brook now up by two again. And this is Arrow skating in. And he's got his head up. He's looking for a cross ice pass to Ryan. And that puck just went to the back of the net. And now this is Hawkins across to DiLorenzo, who's going over to Arrow. Arrow down to Hawkins. Hawkins has got Ryan in front, and he just misses the tip in. DiLorenzo, good pinch to keep the puck in. And Arrow loses control. And now the num number 19 had a chance, to, well, actually 29, 
tripped over the referee coming around, tripped over the linesman. Yeah. And had a chance to come in almost on a breakaway. And a great All glove right. by Josh Brand. Good save by Josh there. And uh, Jordan do runs in front of the net there, protecting, making sure Lewis did not get any rebounds, even though Josh did not leave one out there. So it's 37 seconds left to go in the uh, offsetting penalties. We've got 9.32 to go in the second period, and we've got a 3-1 Stony Brook score over Lehigh. Face-off won by Stony Brook. Back to the point to Lehigh. Shot! Oh, Brand made this. Josh Brand made that save. That puck deflected off his blocker, off the crossbar. All right, back up to the point. Lehigh controls the puck down in the corner now. And this is Eni down low against Arrow. And he's looking for options. And Arrow makes a nice defensive play here, but loses the puck and skates back in. That puck is shot out. Good play by Stony Brook there. Yeah. This is Dealer runs up behind the net now, controlling the puck. And bounce pass off the boards to Ryan that missed. This is Hawkins with the puck now, skating in. And the penalties are up, so we're back to five on five. Hawkins with a nice stutter step move there and loses a glove. Get your glove. And that puck's trying to get forced up the boards and it's picked off by Facey skating in with any wide and a shot on goal for Brand who makes a pad save and holds on. Yeah, now that Stony Brook has scored that third goal, we're seeing a lot more energy come from them. Um, but Lehigh is still putting up a great fight. Uh, obviously looking for some more goals, but still high energy. Yes, yeah, I think Eli, uh, you're right. Uh, Lehigh is still fighting hard, and they're doing whatever they can do to get pucks to the net. Uh, this is Rafi skating out now, and he winds up and shoots, and I think the play was offsides. I did hear a whistle. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it was offsides. It was a good hustle from Rafi. Um, they really need to watch out for that offsides. They've been doing that a lot. Uh, not so much in this game, but in past games we've seen it happen a lot. Um, otherwise, they've been playing a great game so far. All right, this is Mariello, face-off of Sunnybrook against Lewis for Lehigh, and the face-off is won, controlled by Lehigh, and shot all the way down. This will be an icing against Lehigh as uh, Peter Zarella touches the puck. Peter Zarella is, again, uh, another one of the seniors who will be moving on after the season is mm -hmm. over. Um, Solid defenseman. Can always, I'm sure the coaches can always count on him when he's on the ice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we see a lot of shifts coming from Pizzarella. Pizzarella is going to be, you know, another player that's greatly missed. Um, you know, a good defensive player. Absolutely. Face off control by Lehigh behind the net now. Four checking is Mariello. And Rafi steps up and shoots the puck right on. And a good save by Langstaff there hugging the post with two Stony Brook players in front looking for rebounds. All right, Mario again facing off against Lewis. And puck is dropped. Again, one face-off, one by Lehigh. And controlled by Lehigh. And that four-check by Stony Brook is coming on hard. This Hoffman with the puck trying to get control of it. Mariello battling with Brooks and Lodato. Now this is Stony Brook with the puck. Well, and a like shot right on coming out from behind the net. Yeah. And a good save by Langstaff. Mm. Well, good idea putting the puck in front of the net, getting a player there, knowing your positions, your placement. Um, you know, a slow pass in front of the net. Definitely some good hockey. All right. This is Seawood on the faceoff against Softy. And Softy wins the puck back to. And controlled in the neutral zone by Seaward, who makes a move around the Lehigh defender. And now picked up by Lehigh Woodward around the boards. Kept in by Markowski, but it squids all the way down. Looks like this is going to be another icing call. I said before that it looks like they were only using two sentiment. It looks like they're using three now. They're putting Lewis in there as well on the faceoffs with Softy and Facey. Um, but Lehigh has done an excellent job on their faceoffs. They really have. They, they've won almost every single one. Yeah, especially in their own zone. Yeah. So, yeah. 
All right, so this is uh, Mather against Facey, uh, against Softy. And puck is dropped, and again, one by Lehigh. Control behind the net, and Seward battling hard on the boards, along with number 24, Woodward. And this is up to number 29, carrying the puck for is Griffin. Griffin up to Eni. Eni is hit by Seward hard into the boards there. And now this is Griffin carrying in. And he fanned on his shot and unfortunately by doing so caused the offsides. Yep. And Lehigh looks like they're going back to that rapid line shift. Yeah, I was just change. about to mention that. Uh, they weren't doing it as much as they, you know, as they were in the first, but now it looks like they're starting to do that again now that Stony Brook's energy is yeah. you know, increasing. And again, smart thing to do, you know, second period, long change. Yeah. It's a good thing to do. All right, it's Facey on the faceoff with Elfont. And that puck is shot back into the Stony Brook zone. And controlled in the nope, not controlled. Shot back into Stony Brook. This is Borner on the puck. And up the boards to Goldner. And passes out to Elfont. Elfont with an opportunity. A good defensive play there by Fry. Denying Elfont from going in. Now we got the referee with his hand up. Looks like we're going to have a penalty. Now Brian Elfont, another senior. Um, you know, as we saw from that goal mm -hmm. a couple min uh, minutes ago, <laughs> another, another player that's going to be, you know, seriously missed a lot of playing time, a lot of shifts. And a lot of goals, and yeah. especially when you have a player that can make plays like that and just, yeah. you know, great looks, placement. Looks like we've got offsetting penalties again. I saw four minutes go up on the referee's hand. Uh oh, four and four. Sorry, four and four offsetting penalties. Probably again, two minute roughings. Now that's Golner in the box again. Mm -hmm. All right, face off at center race. Uh, 6.27 left to go in the second. Again, Stony Brook 3, Lehigh 1. Thanks for joining us today on SeaWorlds Hockey Live. Face off at center race, and Alphon loses it to Lewis. Lewis, who's run into by Smith. Smith got the, better, the worst end of that deal. Yeah. But that's okay. It's good to stand up. I mean, you know, Lewis is a seasoned veteran on this team, and... This is Elfon now with a shot. He scores. He just picked that corner. That was a nice shot again. It just slid right past the goalie, right around him in the right corner. Uh, again, that's another goal. That's two for Brian Elfon in this game alone. Who makes it four to one? Stony Brook. That's the second four on four goal for Stony Brook in this game. And Elfon with tremendous vision on that shot. He had literally. Not much to shoot at, but yeah. put it in the perfect spot. Exactly, which is, you know, what Sonny Brick really needs to look out for because uh, Lehigh's defense has been pretty good this entire game, you know, although it's a 4-1 to one, you know, lead for Sonny Brook. Uh, you still have to look out for that. Yep. And, you know, despite of some of the hard efforts by some of the Lehigh defensemen and Lewis and company, uh, Stony Brook is just starting to get those those goals, and uh, the shots are starting to increase as well. You know, still not. Neither one of the teams have had a power play yet. Yeah. It's been even nope. the entire game. Right. Yes, as I said, this that's the second goal that Stony Brook has scored on the four and four, mm -hmm. and uh, taking full advantage of that open ice, and still have time to do it here. This is Ryan skating in the Rusky break into the net, and just missed. And this is Griffin shooting in and Borner around the puck. This is Smith now controlling the puck and up to the point, not out. And a cross over to Borner. And Borner up the ice to Doreski. Doreski with a headman pass to Ryan. It went just past the stick blade. But Ryan's back there to get it. Doreski picks it up and lets it go, actually, as Lehigh picks the puck up through the neutral zone. Stony Brook changing their D. 
and in position to make the stop. And Doreski loses it on a poke check by Lewis, who's been very strong on the puck today for Lehigh. That's Arrow taking Lewis out of the play. Lewis is not done yet, though. He's working hard out there. And now this is Ryan. Pass to, to Doreski. Doreski's coming in. He shoots, and it's blocked. You know, and I always say this about Chris Ryan. Chris Ryan, uh, Chris Ryan has perfect timing on almost every one of his plays. He knows when to pass, when to shoot. Neutral zone turnover here. Picked up by Stony Brook. Mariello with the puck now. Circling in his own end. And picked up by Jason Arrow. And Jason skates in with the puck. And Jason holds up and passes across to Jennings, who just was checked off the puck by a Lehigh player. Now this is Eni coming in with the puck for Lehigh. And he shoots and deflected in behind the net. And picked up by Fitzpatrick. Skating hard out of the zone. No one on him right now. Cross size pass there to Jennings. Jennings in the zone. Shoots. Save and a rebound out in front. Picked up by Mariello. Another shot. Save and a rebound. Controlled. And now this is any And picked off in a neutral zone by Jennings. Over to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick overskates the puck. And punch back into the Stony Brook zone. This is softy. Well, cross size pass, Brooks, good back check by Brooks. Mm -hmm. And that puck is starting to stick now. And they really have to be careful. That puck is shot over the top of the net by Softy. The puck is not moving as quickly as, as it would normally do as the period moves on. The ice de starts to degenerate a little bit. And uh, the puck does not slide. Now yeah. Mariello's going off. He's got a broken stick or, yeah, it looks like he broke his stick. And now this will be an icing against Lehigh as Rafis makes the touch. And the faceoff coming into the Lehigh zone with three minutes and 30 seconds left to go. You're watching Seawolves Hockey Live. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Andy Mignani joined by Deanna Sisti. And you're watching the Seawolves, Sonnywood Seawolves Hockey Club playing the Lehigh University team. A lot different uh, game than what we saw last night. All right, on the faceoff, controlled by Lehigh. We've said that a lot today. And into the Stony Brook zone, and the puck is getting loose there, and Seawood dives across and makes a great play with his stick to get that puck away from a Lehigh skater who's coming in. Now this is Stony Brook skating in, uh, Rafis coming in and just missing on the, on the pass. This is Mather. Markowski loses his footing and the puck, and now the puck is in the corner. Mather battling, Markowski battling for Stony Brook. Up to the point to Rafis, who keeps it in. There's Mather to Markowski, a shot right on goal, and a save by Langstaff. And that puck <coughs> goes back down into the Stony Brook zone. This is going to be another icing. As Stony Brook is pouring the pressure on again. Uh, uh, that was a great shot by Markowski. It went right to the goalie, unfortunately. Um, some great offensive plays were just, you know, made. And we're seeing them put a lot more pressure on the puck than we've seen the, the entire period. Shots on goal, 34 to 17 in Stony Brook's favor. All right, now this is Elfon for Stony Brook facing off against Facey for Lehigh. And the linesman lines them up and drops the puck, and Lehigh wins the face off again. And the puck comes out to the neutral zone. Borner turns it back against the center area boards and Lehigh dumps it back in. This is Smith on the puck. Over to Golner, who's been in the sin bin a couple of times today. Mm -hmm. And it's a stretch pass here opportunity. Melfon picks the pass up and skates in the zone. He's got Collins and he's got Golner. And the cross size pass there to Collins was a little behind him. Collins up to the point to Smith. Back down to Collins. Down back down to Golner. And Kept in at the line by Borner. Again, another great play by Borner. Here's a shot deflected across. Golner with the puck. Back to the point to Smith. Smith over to Borner, who shoots high and wide. I don't think I don't think Langstaff saw that shot. No, I don't think so either. And this is Lewis skating out now and taken down and took two Stony Book players to slow him down. All right, this is Borner now. Borner looking for an out. Oh, almost taken away by Lewis. And back behind the net, Smith over to Borner. Up, up the boards on a backhand pass. Lucky pass got through. This is Smith now controlling the puck to, to Golner, to Elfont. 
Elfont skates around the defender from Lehigh. That's Collins back to Elfont who missed on the pass. And this is Fitzpatrick shooting it back in. And Stony Brook back on side, back out to the center ice line. And this is Elfont to Golner. Golner back to Elfont. Elfont's got Ryan. And just, and Ryan has the puck and he shoots and a save made or was blocked by the defense. This is Ryan again with the puck. Cross to Golner, saved by, by Langstaff. Puck was still in front of the net. They really and needed somebody is, from Stony Brook to see yeah, that. This is Fitzpatrick <laughs> to Arrow. Arrow skating in, he shoots. Stick saved by Langstaff. And Stony Brook is doing it again. I think I think they're finding a way to to grind it. And uh, and Lehigh is not changing. That. And this is Ryan skating in on a three on zero. He comes in. He shoots. He scores. Oh, it was a high left corner shot from Chris Ryan. Chris? A great hustle. Great shot on goal. Chris Ryan, uh, you know, last night scored a, a breakaway goal. On, he's scoring on the stick side of the goaltender today. Yep. He puts the top shelf glove side. I, can, I think Chris Ryan could put that puck in the net any way he wants to. He that really was fantastic got a fantastic goal. Phenomenal player. Um, a great goal, making it 5-1, to one, Stony Brook. All around great play. <laughs> All right. This is Hawkins on the faceoff against Softy, and faceoff won by Lehigh. And uh, thank God this game is not judged by face-offs because <laughs> I yeah. think Stony Brook will be losing that game. All right. All right. And the puck is shot in behind the net. Josh Brand holds it for Arrow. Fitzpatrick up the boards to Ryan. Scoots past him out the center ice. And shot right back in by Lehigh. Controlled by Arrow. <coughs> Arrow to stretch pass through the neutral zone. Now Dureski skates in. And Dureski cross-size pass as time runs out. And we come to the end of the second period. With the score, the Stony Brook Sea Wolves 5 and the Lehigh University Mountain Hawks. Mountain Hawks, thank <laughs> you for that assist. No problem. One. Um, shots on goal through two periods 37 for Stony Brook and 17 for Lehigh. Um, Lehigh had seven shots on goal in that period, and Stony Brook had. Well, we'll be back. You're watching Seawolves Hockey Live. Welcome back to Seawolves Hockey Live. This is Andy Bignani here at the rinks in Hop Hog, New York, where the Stony Brook Seawolves have a four-goal lead over Lehigh University. And uh, talk a little bit about shots on goal in that period. And shots on goal are uh, sponsored by ADP, where business behind the business. And... Stony Brook has 37 shots through two periods, and Lehigh has 17 through two periods. Some of the interesting things in that period, uh, we saw Lehigh picking up their forecheck, and Stony Brook finding ways to get pucks behind the goalkeeper for Lehigh. Uh, with good hard work, good passing, excellent forechecking, and uh, again, Good goaltending for Stony Brook as well. Um, Josh Brand making some key saves on some turnovers and uh, keeping Stony Brook uh, well ahead of Lehigh in this one. So we're going to get started for the third period. I am being joined by my color commentator, Deanna Sisti, who's <laughs> making her way to the booth. 
And uh, we're going to get ready for the final period of hockey, hopefully the final period of hockey for Stony Brook in 2010-2011 uh, for their home schedule. Again, I'm Andy Bignani. I'm here with Deanna Sisti. And I've, obviously, I'm not Deanna. <laughs> but that's our producer. He's just playing a joke on us. <laughs> It, the names are right, but but they're on the wrong side. <laughs> no? Now I can talk. <laughs> okay, there you go. I was wondering where you yeah, were. No. <laughs> I guess our producer's having his hot chocolate and wasn't wasn't paying attention there. But uh, anyway, uh, we're getting ready to start the third period. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've had an opportunity a couple times to pitch in here and uh, had fun doing it. And uh, we'll see what next season brings. And Deanna will probably be back, I hope, right? Yes, sir. I'll be here. All righty. And uh, Stony Brook, most of the players we talked about will be back, too, with the exception of three that we talked about. Uh, yeah, Brian Elfont, Chris Ryan, and uh, Peter Zarella, who will be graduating this year. And we're going to be all greatly missed. It's going to be a lot different without them, you know, as we've seen. Brian Alphonse already got two goals this game, um, along with Chris Ryan with his one goal, but both made great, de uh, great decisions, great plays, um, you know, as well as P uh, Pizzarella on defense, you know, uh, key defensive player. You know, it's going to be a lot different, a different game without them. And it'll, it'll be uh, an interesting uh, transition for some of the younger players to bring their game in and um, other players that Coach Garofolo may bring in, and uh, it'll be interesting. And we look forward to that. And uh, we look forward to Stony Brook also going to the Nationals this year yep. and taking it as far as they can. You know, any, anything can happen in a playoffs uh, tournament. All right. We're going to get ready for the start of the third period. And Stony Brook is going to be starting with Seward, Mather, and Markowski with Borner and Smith on defense. And Lehigh will be starting with number seven, Softy, number 20, Eni, number 29, Griffin, with Fry and Seich on defense. All right, Sonnybrook. That faceoff is won by Lehigh. This is 29 for Lehigh coming in. A big hit by Smith on Griffin. Now, this is Eni coming in with the puck and shoots it all the way around. Softy on the puck there with Borner. And Lehigh shoots the puck behind the Stony Brook net. Smith back there. We're going to have a penalty on Stony Brook. Looks like Smith brought his stick up. And. Referee has his arm up, and there will be a call. As Smith will go for two minutes, probably for high sticking. Yeah. On that call, right in front of the referee. It's hard to hide that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially the big guy that Smith is. We have our first power play opportunity in the game, and it goes to Lehigh. With 19.25 left to go, face off in the Stony Brook end, and... Out on the ice for Stony Brook to kill a penalty will be Mather 42, 22 Brooks, Arrow 71, and Borner 11. On the faceoff is Griffin for Lehigh. And faceoff is won by Stony Brook. And out comes, that was Brooks coming out. And Brooks going to take one here too. Uh, he uh, used his stick and uh, will go for a hooking penalty. And it'll be a five on three opportunity for Lehigh. Once Stony Brook touches that puck, as Borner is waiting as long as he can. And the whistle blows. And for a minute 39, Lehigh will have a two man advantage. Stony Brook really needs to play some tight defense here. I know, you know, from watching Lehigh this entire game, you know, with their short shifts coming in and out, they're going to be well rested. You know, the fact that they're putting a lot of pressure on the puck and that they already have two penalties to begin with. and and it's, really Ryan, it, and it's up. Ryan Arrow and Borner, and the faceoff is won by Lehigh. Shot on goal right on, and Josh Brand makes the save and holds on to the puck. No rebound. Okay. 
All right, Chris Ryan on the faceoff against Lewis and wins that faceoff. And this is Arrow now controlling the puck and shoots it all the way out and all the way down. Good play there by Arrow, controlling the puck. And now this is Ryan with the puck as he's going to play a little four corners, but we got three guys, so let's call it three corners. <laughs> and he shoots it down into the Lehigh zone. And uh, Ryan goes to the bench for a change. Out comes Hawkins as Arrow and Borner stay on the ice. And this is Lehigh. This is Lewis carrying the puck up and trying to set up and work around Arrow. Arrow makes a nice play here. Losing that nice long reach and controls the puck down, trying to get it out. And he's worked off the puck there. Back to the point. Lehigh shoots and a save by Brand. Good job by the by the defense to let Josh Brand see that shot coming in, forcing Griffin from Lehigh out to the outside. Yeah, and that's really important that the goalie see the puck. You know, the defensive has to, you know, do their job and keeping the puck away, but you know, it's important that the goalie has their eye on the puck at all times because you never know when the puck's just going to slide right by your defense. Exactly. Now you have uh, Fitzpatrick and, and Zarella on defense. Puck is back to the point to Ellis. Ellis got the puck over to the point to Hoffman. Hoffman down low to Griffin. Griffin now looking for options. A cross ice pass to Ellis. Ellis one shoots and it's just deflected wide. And this is Hoffman now. A pass across to. to to Softy, who loses it. Now it's in the corner to Facey. Facey controls the puck on the half boards. Back up to Ellis. Cross ice pass over to Hoffman. Back to Facey. Shoots the puck and saved by Brand. Good movement. Good puck movement here. A lot and of the puck a did job killing the power play so far. And now that puck is shot high and wide as uh, Josh Brand gets control of the stick again after losing it. All right. Uh, that puck is deflected into the corner by Zarella. Good play there. And the puck comes off the, off the moorings. And we're down to now 19 seconds left. And Stonebrick did a good job killing off the five on three. 19 yeah. seconds left to go to kill off the remaining five good, on four. Uh, good job from Sean Fitzpatrick as well as Pete Zarella on defense. Um, they did a good job of keeping the puck away from Brand. Although, uh, you know, Lehigh had a lot of control that entire time. You know, had good, some good puck placement, but just couldn't really get full control over it. All right. This is Elfon on the faceoff. Back to the point to Hoffman. He winds, he shoots, and the save by Brand through the screen. And the puck is down into the corner. DeVito with the puck down here. And Lewis behind the net for, for Lehigh. Controlling the puck now is Elfon. Elfon back to Smith. And Smith up to... Up, up to Brooks, who's out of the penalty box. Just missed Elfon on the pass. And Borner to get the puck for Stony Brook. Over to Smith. Cross-ice pass over to Brooks, just out of the reach. And the defender for, for Lehigh fell down, but he was covered by his partner and able to make the defensive play there. This is Borner carrying for Stony Brook. Over to Elfon. Elfon tries to make a pass, but it was blocked. Now another try. And Brooks tries to dump it in. And Brooks does a good job keeping the puck on the boards there. And skates in with, loses possession of the puck. As Facey skates out for Lehigh. Cutting across the middle. And defended by Stony Brook and shot out of the zone. Elfon, nice job to keep the puck in. Good job here also by Jennings. Jennings crossed to, to Brooks. Can't get a shot off. Defended well by Moreau. Arrow comes in and shoots the puck, and it's blocked by the defense. Arrow shoots again, right on goal. And that was a and good Langstaff with a save. Good recovery from Stony Brook after those that uh, you know, five on three. Good job getting back into uh, Lehigh's zone and starting to put the puck on the net. Uh, great movement, great passing, and a great shot towards the end. 15.58 to go in the third. Stony Brook 5, Lehigh 1. You're watching Seawolves Hockey Live. Thanks for joining us today. This is Mariello on the faceoff against Softy. And this faceoff is won by Lehigh. And Lehigh breaks out. And this is Eni breaking in, breaking in with the puck. And Softy digging in the corner for the puck. Won by Stony Brook now. Back out to the point. Struggle along the half boards here. Jennings picks it up. And this is Brooks skating in, skating wide, carrying it to the net. And Arrow breaks in now on a pass, and he shoots, and it's blocked. Good block there by Griffin. 
And Jennings didn't look like he knew where the puck was at that time and couldn't yep. even get a good uh, handle good on it. Good forecheck here. One of the Lehigh players does not have his stick. He's going to get it now. And the Those puck comes around film to, -like space. to De Lorenzo. And Lehigh comes out with the puck now and just looking to dump it and get a line change. This is going to be an icing, though, as, he, as the Lehigh player did not get the blue line, the center ice line. So that line change is all for naught as they must come back on the ice. And Stony Brook can come out with a fresh group of players. Yeah, Stony Brook really needs to watch out for this. As we were talking about it, uh, Lehigh's got those quick line changes, and Stony Brook's been lagging with the line changes, which is something, uh, you know, they're going to get fatigued, and it's not going to end well. They will uh, start switching up a little bit more. Yep. They need to keep those line changes fresh. And now uh, this is Ryan. Back to the point. Shot by Rafis is blocked and goes into the corner. Jaruski's digging for the puck along with Ellis. And Hawkins now joins the mash and picks the puck up. And now this is Ryan back to the point to Zarella. Zarella over to Ryan. Ryan looking for Zarella. He winds and he shoots. One timer. And it's hits hit the Stony Brook player Hawkins in front of the net. And that's definitely left a little bit of a, a stinger on him. <laughs> and now out comes Davida skating with speed for, for Lehigh. And a shot on goal. And Josh Brand has it between the legs and squeezes it. And it looks like a Lehigh player is down, but he'll be getting up now. Yeah, um, yeah it was a great save by Brand. Good job getting his glove on it. Yeah, that was DeVita coming in on a break and uh, using that size and muscling that puck to the front of the net, getting it on goal. All right, face off here at center ice. No, in, in the in the Stony Brook zone, and the shot right on hits Lewis in the back, and this is Markowski, oh, with an opportunity for Seward, but he, he just did not get the puck out in front of him. All right, Zarella controls the puck for Stony Brook, over to Rafis, and Rafis has quickly checked off the puck, and now Zarella controls it again, and Rafis is trying to get a handle on it and loses control of it. Stony Brook going back to this sloppy defensive play again where yeah. they, they don't control the puck in their end. And it's, again, lack of communication. And Lehigh has has an opportunity here. They looks like they have the top line out against Stony Brook's maybe fourth line. And Seawood now controls it for Stony Brook. He hoists it out of the zone. And no line change. But the puck goes into the zone and controlled by Stony Brook behind their net. This is Rafis. And Rafis skating out. Puck's turned over in the neutral zone. And Stony Brook's trying to control it here. Picked up by Rafis in center ice. And trying to dump it deep. Could not. This is Siwi with the puck now. And again, not getting the puck deep. Um, you know, is a problem. Especially now. This line needs to go for a change. They've been out there too long. Yeah. And Collins has made his way out. As... This is Seward shooting the puck, and that deflects off a Lehigh player, and Collins is able to get a shot on goal and a save by Langstaff. Shots on goal, 40 to 23, Stony Brook. <clears throat> um, you know, Lehigh's caught up a lot with the shots on goal. They're getting a lot more, you know, uh, time in Stony Brook zone, you know, which is kind of a problem. Like you said, Stony Brook's defense has gotten very sloppy from what we've been seeing the rest of the game. Yeah. That's a shot by Warner that he fanned on. Keeping that puck deep is really what Stony Brook should be worrying about now. Letting, making Lehigh skate. Here comes Elfon coming in. He's making the move. Oh, and he shot it just wide. Nice little move by Elfon. Maybe one extra move, but nonetheless, he got the shot off. Now, there's a pinch by Smith, and he misses. But good job backing up the play by Zgolner. And... That's important when you have your defenseman pinching that your forwards are smart enough to know to replenish that spot once that defenseman pinches in. Now this is Borner. Golden, I'm sorry, would have passed across to, to Collins. Collins looking for Elfont. And that puck's jumping up in the air. This is Collins shooting now. And we have a whistle. And the net is off the moorings. And Stony Brook will go for a line change yeah. along with mm -hmm. Lehigh changing their D, their forwards. Yeah, Stony Brook really needs to step up their game um, aggressively more so. You know, Lehigh skating all over them in the third period. All right, Mariello on the faceoff. 
against Lewis, and that was won by Lehigh. And that puck is knocked into the corner. This is Mariello down low to Jennings. Back to the point to Fitzpatrick. He winds, he shoots, and it deflects into the corner. De, De Lorenzo with the puck down to Mariello. Down low to Jennings. Jennings working the puck down low. Over to Mariello. He's got Mather. And the puck is shot out and past Fitzpatrick, who recovers in a neutral zone. This is Mariello tipping the puck in. And Lehigh controlling it now. And back out to center ice with Jordan DiLorenzo. So Stony Brook will dump the puck in. This is what Stony Brook needs to do. It'll frustrate them. And if they could just keep that puck going back in their zone and making them skate the 185 all the way up. You know, they need to set up a trap. It's probably the best thing they could do. Um, you know, 11 minutes left in the period, so. I'm not a fan of the trap. I, I think the trap sometimes is just boring hockey, but when you're protecting a lead, it's, uh, it's, quite, a right, it's, a quite, it's quite a right to do it. I think Stony Brook's got a little bit more speed that they can rely on, um, but they're doing the right thing. They're dumping the puck deep now, and that's what they want to do, get that puck deep. And we got a high stick now call, and it's touched up by Lehigh, so the puck is live and legal now, and there's a pass out behind the net, and Chris Ryan's there to take it away, and he skates out. He's got Jennings wide. Skating down wide, cuts across the middle of the ice, pass across, and just out of reach of Ryan as he was heading toward. And back to Rafis at center ice, and Rafis just dumps it over the middle, and it's deflected back into the Lehigh zone. Ryan with a big hit on Woodward, and Lehigh picks the puck up and trying to get it through the neutral zone. Picked up there by Peter Zarella, and Chris Ryan just missed. Got to wait for everyone to get on side. As Hawkins was roughed up by Griffin there at the blue line and going to take some offense to that. but yep. And that puck hits the roof of the building. And it's 7.59 uh, left to go in the third period. And you're watching Seawolves Hockey Live. The Sunnybrook Brook Seawolves 5, University of Lehigh 1. Shots on goal, 41 for Stony Brook, 23 for Lehigh. Face off in the Lehigh zone to the left of Langstaff. One by, Le one by Lehigh. Yep. I should just say one by Lehigh all the time. <laughs> anyway, here we go. And we got Griffin breaking in now. Shooting on Brand, and Brand makes the save, and the rebound is covered up. Yeah, that was a good uh, cover up by Brand. Glad that he got to the rebound in time. That Lehigh player is getting really close to him. Yeah. And Coach Garofalo is rotating all, all his lines through. Everyone's playing, so it's a, it's a good thing, giving, giving guys the opportunity to play when the other team's going to be bringing the heat. Especially our uh, last home game of the season. Yeah. All right. Face off one by Stony Brook. And that's Seward now out to Mather. And Mather's skating down into the Lehigh zone with a pass across to Seward, but it's out of the reach and held back in. No, it was not held back in. It was offsides. Puck just came outside as Fitzpatrick pushed it back in. And this is Mather on the faceoff with Lewis. And faceoff won by Lehigh. Cross to Fry. Loses the puck. Markowski. With a shot on goal and a good save by Langstaff. And a rebound was hanging out there for Mather. He almost yeah. had it. Yeah, Mather and Markowski have made a great team this entire time. Um, I believe they played together in LVC um, uh, last year. But uh, they definitely have great teamwork going. And uh, they have made some great plays this entire game. They sure have. And uh, like I said, with, with the injuries and all these players stepping up, yeah. it's a good thing to see. All right. We've got uh, Elfont, Goldner, and Collins with DiLorenzo and Fitzpatrick for Stony Brook on the ice. And face off one by Lehigh, and up comes Lodato. And the puck goes down to DeVito, and just out of his reach as Josh Brand picked the puck up and shot it into the corner. All right, this is Goldner with the puck now behind the net, setting up. And working it out to Elfon, who kicks the puck out 
into the neutral zone. The puck goes behind the net. Josh Brand holds it there. Di Lorenzo picks it up. And he's around it, harassed by Lloyd Lewis. And there was a good play there by Fitzpatrick to just poke it past the, the Lehigh player. And now Lehigh is working hard down low. And this is Lewis with the puck. Di Lorenzo on him. And now Elfont will have time and space. And now he comes. Along with Collins and Di Lorenzo going to the net. It's a cross ice pass to Goler. Going to looking. He shoots. Fires wide. Lehigh breaks out and stolen in a neutral zone by Golner. He's breaking in again. And he winds and he shoots. And a save and a rebound. And, uh, and Langstaff covers up. And no further. Again, that's great pressure. Uh, Sonny Brick's been putting on the puck. Uh, Golner has been on fire the last couple of games that we played. Um, you know, he gets to the puck. He makes good passes, makes good decisions, gets the puck on the net. And that's, you know... What yep. they're looking for. Yep. Golner uh, out of Oceanport, New Jersey. Another Lebanon Valley College D3 player here for Stony Brook. Pass out to the point. Rafi shoots, and it's deflected high into the into the boards in the back behind the goalie, and it's on the back of the net. And faceoff will come outside of the Lehigh zone. Uh, Mariello on the face-off with Facey. And the puck is dropped, and the face-off is won by Stony Brook. And the puck is dumped in by Peter Zarella all the way in. Stony Brook comes in. Mariello on the forecheck. Puck out to the point and just past Rafis as he skates hard after it, and he's being chased by Facey. Brooks, good job keeping that puck. Oh, shot by Jennings. With a rebound in front of the net that was left there, nobody was there to take it. Now, Stony Brook controls the puck. This is Zarella across to, to Brooks. Brooks with the puck back to Rafis, back to Brooks in the skates. Kicks it back out. Good job by Brooks to kick that puck out. Shot around the net by Brooks, and now Jennings back there, and he steals the puck. And the scrum for a puck behind the net. Jennings back out to the point. Zarelli winds. He's got a deflection shot to Brooks. And Brooks just deflects it wide. This is Mariello behind the net to Jennings. I'm sensing a power play here. Yeah. yeah and the puck gets kicked out of the zone and Zarella back to get it. One of Stony Brook's main, uh, they always set up a power play, it looks like, in their zone. Or in Lehigh's zone in this matter. All right, that puck was muffed on. Now, now this is Mariello with the puck. Oh, and he had he had Ryan. He didn't see him, but he had Ryan in front of the net all alone. This is Griffin carrying the puck out for Lehigh. And Eni with the puck now. And that puck was blocked by Zarella. And Eni picks it up again. And he's got he had Softy in front and could not get a stick on the puck. Down low to Eni. This is Griffin with a shot right on and a save. By Josh Brand, who hasn't had a lot of action lately. This is Dureski breaking in all alone. He comes in, he shoots. What a save. That was a great save. Dureski almost had him. Uh, just couldn't get it by and didn't slide through. Good poke check there. Yeah. Good poke check. He had him He had him trying to pull that curl and drag and move it on his backhand and uh, poke it in. But Langstaff did a good job anticipating that, po po poking the stick out. All right, face off here. In the Lehigh zone, Hawkins on the draw, and the puck is in the corner. This is Dureski working it out to Jordan, Jordan Di Lorenzo, who shoots, and the puck is blocked. Jordan Di Lorenzo gets the puck back again. This is Fitzpatrick winding and shooting, and a good save by Langstaff. Fitzpatrick thinking short side, and Langstaff able to stop it. We've got 5.55 left to go. We've had hardly any stops in this third period, which is yeah. which is great. Uh, good hockey. Both teams putting the pressure on the puck. Yep. And this is Lewis coming out now for Lehigh. And he breaks past Fitzpatrick, and he comes in, he shoots. And that was a good block by Di Lorenzo. He's going to feel that one, but he, he, he took one for the team there, yep. not blocking that shot. 
All right, this is Hawkins breaking in. Zareski fanned on his attempt. And Ryan with the puck behind the net to Hawkins. And it's in front. And Another good, great save. Yeah, Langstaff jumping all over that loose puck. Not leaving any opportunities for any pokes no. on that puck. Uh, he's already saved like 42 goals this game. So <laughs> Stony Brook leading in shots, 48 to 26. Yeah, I think Stony Brook's going to have the record here tonight. Maybe 55, I think, is uh, one of their high nights. So let's see, how, let's see if they can do that. Mather on the faceoff of Stony Brook against Facey, and Facey wins it. And uh, uh, trying to control the puck through the neutral zone. It looks like that ice is really deteriorating here, and that puck is not moving as, as well as it should be. This is uh, Zarella now controlling the puck here to Mark Kowski, and he's run to the ditch by number 23, Corby. All right, and we got uh, Rafis back with the puck here. Over to Zarella, and Zarella backhands it through the neutral zone, and that's controlled by Ellis over to Hoffman. Hoffman is checked by Mather, and Ellis behind the net here. Markowski on the forecheck. Bounce pass off the boards through center ice, missed by Softy. This is Seward now getting run to the ditch by number 17, Annabelle, Annabelle. Let's check there, and this is a nice move here by Rafis, coming in, coming in, he's shooting. Oh, that puck is laying in the crease staff of Seward, he just couldn't get there. And then Langstaff even giving Seward a, a little, little nudge shot, there. Yeah. Uh, all right, it's good to see Stony Brook still coming, still coming on, so strong. And Collins is Collins on the boards, losing the pass. And two shots right on goal there. Brand controlling those shots very easily. This is Collins breaking in with Seward behind him. Breaking to the net. Shooting. Oh! oh. Nice save by, Langst by Langstaff. There's another shot off the backboards. This is Collins digging hard after it. And Lewis picking the puck up and just hoisting it out to get his team a chance to get off and get a line change. Shot back in by L L Di Lorenzo. And picked up by 28 Griffin Smith, actually. Mm -hmm. And this is Elfont from Stony Brook to Collins. Back to Elfont. Almost. He tried to poke it in there. He Almost. didn't get quite thorough. Almost. And this is kept in by Fitzpatrick. A good keep here. This is more pressure. Right out to, right to Golner off the face mask of Langstaff. And they get, Lehigh finally gets the puck out of the zone. Fitzpatrick is taken down, and this is an offsides. Yeah, Stony Brook putting a lot more pressure on the puck than we've seen at the beginning of this period, but um, Lehigh still not giving up, still fighting for another goal, um, and uh, Lancaster has been a great goalie so far, you know, although, you know, five goals have gotten past them out of 50, though. Yeah, the percentages are in his favor. Here we go with Collins. Backhanding a pass through the neutral zone into the Lehigh zone. Fitzpatrick shooting it in now. Stony Brook touching up and has a stretch pass attempt to Talgo and picked up by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick has a nice pass out but just missed Collins and it's missed everybody actually. Icing is waved off as it goes into the Lehigh zone. Lehigh stretch, stretch pass out through the neutral zone. This is Di Lorenzo controlling the puck doing a good job as Lehigh is trying everything they can to get a home run pass just to get another goal. And uh, Stony Brook is doing a good job here. Puck is turned over at the blue line. And Di Lorenzo comes back and throws a nice big check on the Lehigh player. Puck is on the boards here. This is Collins and, it, and there's a whistle. We have a penalty. Looks like we got a head hit. Well, Brian Alphonse skating into the box. No, well knowing that he was the offender. Nope. And uh, too bad. Alphonse going to sit the, ne the last two minutes of this game. I hope he gets on the ice for the last eight, eight seconds. seconds. Hopefully. <laughs> it is his last home game as a senior. So yeah. it's a shame he's going to be ending it in the box. Well, it's good to see, you know, Peter Zarella. Chris Ryan and Brian Alphonse leaving a little bit of a blaze of glory here with a 5-1 lead, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, having a good game. 
doing a good job for the squad. Oh, look at that bad bounce off the boards right across the goal crease. I think I, I think if if you're Langstaff, you got to be shaking your head, which he was. Yeah. Wondering what else is going to happen today. This is Brooks <laughs> carrying the puck in. Across to Mather, gets bumped off the puck there by Griffin. Picked up by Ellis. And Lewis is going to control the puck in a neutral zone. Cross eyes pass to Griffin coming in on Rafis. And Stony Brook in the box, defending that power play. And this shot on goal. And another shot that just did not get to the goal. Josh Brand making the save. And shot from the point from Ellis. It's a good deflection and a goal. Lewis in the right place at the right time. He put his stick on that puck. He made a fantastic redirection yeah. through the legs of Brand. Yeah, you know, there's really nothing Brand could have done about that. That five-hole shot is kind of a killer. Yeah. You you try to cover as much of the net as you can. Something's going to suffer. Sometimes it's the five-hole. Mm -hmm. So, well, with 119 left to go. Brian Alphonse out of the box. <laughs> and it's 5-2. to two. And I think we got a timeout. No, maybe not. No timeout. And Mariello again softy on the faceoff. And this fight for the puck and it's picked up by Jennings who dumps the puck all the way in. And Jennings after the puck. Cross size pass wide to Griffin. And fans on the pass attempt to dump it in. Stony Brook dumps the puck back to the middle of the one minute left to go in the game. And Zarella controls over to Rafis. Rafis just rags the puck back and taking time off the clock. No sense of urgency here for Stony Brook. Just purely waste the time on the clock is all they really want to do. And we're down to 30 seconds to go. And Jennings makes the save here. Keep the puck in. He shoots it again. 51 shots on goal now for Stony Brook. As each team goes for a final line change. And Chris Ryan will have his last shift. Brian Elfont will have his last shift. And I guess Peter Zarella will finish it out on the bench. 23 seconds left to go in the game. Elfon on the faceoff with Facey. One by Stony Brook. Lorenzo. D. Lorenzo with the shot. And the save by Langstaff. Controlled by Fitzpatrick. And looks like we're going to go in. This game is just about over now. And Fitzpatrick will control it and get it out. And one, maybe one last shot. And that's it. Final score. Stony Brook Seawolves 5 and the Lehigh University. Mountain Hawks. All right. Two. <laughs> Final shots on goal for the game. 51 for Stony Brook and 27 for Lehigh. The Ice Girls cheering the boys as all they do is win. And this is the last home game for the season, so we'll be seeing you next year. Again, final score, 5-2 to two, Stony Brook. Yeah, and uh, again, uh, it's been a pleasure doing these games and uh, watching these boys play and the young ones develop and looking forward to seeing these guys come back next year and and some new faces that may join the team. Yep. We wish the uh, Stony Brook current team, obviously, success in the remaining of the season and much luck in the national tournament. And um, I'm sure they're going to be ready to go. And uh, maybe they'll get a couple of injured guys back, too, as they salute the fans and head off the ice. Again, we thank you for watching and tuning in to SeaWorlds Hockey this year. And we will look forward to seeing you again all next year. For Andy Mignani, Deanna Sisti, Trevor Mignani, you're watching Seawolves Hockey Live. We'll see you next year.
Bye-bye.